Hi guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot here. In this session I'll go through the features of the Web 2.0 Site Creator functions. Within this screen we've got a number of different tabs on the top. The first tab is the Main Site Data tab. Within this tab we've got the Account Details. We choose the profile which we're going to use, which is auto-filled, and then we fill in the rest of our site data in the fields themselves. We can load previously loaded data profiles by clicking the last loaded profile, and we can load a different profile using the load data. We use the save data to save the data within the current profile. As in the Web 2.0 accounts data, we've got a list of all the Web 2.0 sites. And as per the account creation, we simply select the sites, create a selected account, and it auto creates the account, saves the username and password. And we can verify the emails. And in this spinnable article tab, using our standard spinning syntax, we add our titles, body, and resource. And the article is spun between the separate Web 2.0 sites. And the URL list we have in the main data, those URLs are rotated and added to this spun article in real time. The Web 2.0 creation tasks, this is where we begin our posting. We simply select the number of sites we want to post to, so all of them or single sites. We select whether or not we want to auto bookmark our sites that have been created and auto post the RSS feeds. On the social bookmarking we can choose either random or all. If we choose random it posts each URL to three randomly selected social bookmarking accounts. If we select all, it posts to all of the social bookmarking accounts. So we simply choose our sites, choose whether to use auto decapture or manual decapture, as one or two sites require an additional capture when posting, then we click start posting. What I will do now is I'll stop the video and I'll fill the information in. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back guys. As you can see I've added the required information in. What you can do here is if you actually put in your keywords and you click the button next to the anchor text it will auto fill the anchor text with this spin syntax. See with RSS feeds, if it's a blog, click the button next to the RSS feed and it will pick up the feed of the main URL. If we delete the keywords, we click the keyword button, it fills in the keywords based off the anchor text. As you can see, I've added in a description with some spin syntax, so it will spin when submitted. And I've added in some URLs, which is just a domain URL and two ClickBank products. On the Web 2.0 accounts, I've created three accounts for this example, and I've verified the emails as well. On the spinnable article, I've added in a article with spin syntax. 
title, body, and resource. Now, as this is just an example, I've actually put in minimal spins. You can also actually add in HTML syntax for bold, strong, underline, italics. So if we t test the spin article, click spin, and spin article, you can see the article is actually being spun. And it holds the HTML syntax. It automatically adds in breaks for the HTML as it posts in HTML format on the website. We need to fill in all of these three resource boxes as well. Title, body and resource. As you can see all of these spin. When an article is posted the URLs that's posted with them or added at this point here automatically so there's no need to actually add in URLs within any articles themselves unless you specifically want to inside 2.0 creator we can create accounts on any of these sites but we must have account data available for these accounts. So we've got WordPress, Insane Journal and Easy Journal. For this example I'll untick the social bookmarking and RSS feeds as we will go through them later in a different tutorial. Let's choose Insane Journal. I'm going to simply click start posting. As we can see the site's opened, the site's logging in Should take a few seconds. That's us logged in. Now the software will find the error at the post, which it's loading in now. That's the page loading now. All the details have been filled in. Note the HTML syntax. and that's how our data posted. So that's simple. And we've got the URLs and the feeds which are posted if we select social bookmark URL RSS feed submissions. We use the Web 2.0 site for creating single sites. What you can do is add these URLs, so control C to the URL list when we create the next site, if you wish but this is, is not necessary so that's the web 2.0 posting screen Oh, one last thing. If we change any information within these screens, for example, add the articles, add new accounts, we need to click the save data to resave the data for this profile.